So let's look at chapter 7b, number 2. And in this one, uh, you know that the main shape, A, D, E, C, is a parallelogram. So actually, just right off the bat, we can say then that this side here, oops, I went right, this side here is 18. And this whole length right here from D to E should be 8. Um, and it says name three triangles that are all similar. So let's do this. There are three triangles in the picture. There's the big one right here, which is A, C, B. There's the little one that's stuck inside of it, which is B. Uh, we'll make this point F. So that's an F, and this is a D. And then there's the triangle underneath it. Oops. like this. It's F here, E here, and C here. And then if I label the sides, I know that one's 18, this one is Y, this one is X, this one is 6. The whole thing up here from A to B is 24, and this one is 8. Okay, so that's what's given. Um, <clears throat> okay, so if we look right here, uh, angle B B in this picture is the same as this one and this one in my two triangles down here. So there's one angle that matches up. Uh, and then if you look at the top picture, B is also the same as this angle way down here, FCE, which is this angle in the bottom triangle down here. So that's something I can do. Those angles are the same because they're alternate interiors. So right now I've matched up one angle right here, the red angle, with this red angle, with this red angle. Okay, so let me get another color and we'll match up another angle. So if I look at, uh, let's say, this angle, angle A, right? Well, I know angle A is the same as angle E down here because it's a parallelogram. So here's A and here's E. And so there are two angles that match up. And if you use the alternate interiors again, that's the same as angle D in my little triangle. So that's this angle right here. So now I've matched up two angles in all three pairs, or in all three triangles. So I've got AA similarity for all three triangles. So let's call them something. So if I call the first triangle ABC, then I'm going from two curves to the red angle to no curves when I make that triangle. So I've got to do the same thing with the next triangle. So two curves to the red angle to no angles. So that's going to be, or to no curves. So that's going to be D, B, F. And then in the last triangle, it went two curves, red angle, no color. So two curves to red angle to, no, to nothing will be FCE. Okay, then I need to solve for X and Y. So let's take a look at these two triangles. And if you look at it, the eight here goes with the X the same way that the 24 goes with the six. So eight over X equals 24 over six. And you can reduce that if you want to, or you can just cross multiply right away and get 48 equals 24x. So x is going to be 2. So x up here is 2. And then you can get y using uh, ratios also, a proportion also. Or you can just take a look and see, oh look, the whole thing's 8, and y is the bottom part, but the top part is 2. So 8 minus 2 equals y, which is 6.